Hey everybody, I hope that everybody's having a great new year so far. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but I'm back. Today's tutorial is going to be about my four quick and easy go-to hairstyles for when your time is limited. So my hair has been like this for quite some time now, and I don't have much time this morning to get ready. So here's what I'm going to do. Style number one. You want to take your hair down, go through it with your fingers a little bit, stretch it out as much as you can. And then you want to mist your hair with water. Um, this is the Ultra Mist bottle that everybody's been asking me about. It's made by Cricut. Then you want to apply um, a good moisturizing lotion. I'm using Shea Moisture's Curl and Style Milk. That's pretty much my go-to product. Then you're going to take a part from ear to ear. I don't really care much for straight parts, so I'm using my fingers. This is optional. You can use a comb. Then you're going to separate the two sections from front to back. Use Eco Solid Gel, you already know me, but you can use whatever gel you want. Spritz your hair in the front with some water and prepare to slick down those edges. Everybody knows now that I like to slick down my edges. Then you're going to put your hair to one side. You're gonna start twisting from one ear to the other, just like the part. And if you don't know how to do a flat twist, I have a twist out tutorial that shows you how to do flat twists, so you could refer to that on my channel. And if your edges got messed up, you already know, slick them down. And it should look a little something like this. Now you're going to take the section in the back down and you're going to put a side ponytail on the side where the twist ended. So here it is, super cute, super quick, and super easy. Style number two, you're gonna take a rat tail comb and you're gonna make a center part. Now I'm taking some gel and I'm just defining the part. Don't get your comb caught in your hair. <laughs> now you're going to take a section from the part all the way to the front of your ear on each side and then you're going to do a flat twist on each side. Again, I'm doing twists. You can do braids if you'd like. Um, I'm doing twists because twists are a lot quicker than braids are.
Then you're gonna take the back down and you're just gonna fluff your hair out a little bit in the back. And you can choose to wear this style this way with the twists in the front of your ears or you're gonna see in the next section that I'm gonna put it back as if it were a headband. The first style is very retro and very Afrocentric. It's really cute, but if you don't like that, you can definitely tie the twist in the back to make it look like a headband. I just do that by using a rubber band and putting the twist to the nape of my neck and tying it there. And this is really cute as well. I like this. This is super quick and effortless and really, really easy. Style number three. You're going to take a rat tail comb and you're going to make a side part, a really deep side part. Eco Styler gel, edges, you know the deal. Slick down the more narrow section of the hair that you're going to flat twist. Make a part to the base of your neck. Begin your flat twist. You don't have to twist all the way to the ends of your hair. Just stop when you get to the nape of the neck. Here I'm using a hair comb to secure the twist instead of using a bobby pin because the twist is really thick and the bobby pin is just going to loosen up during the day. And here it is, simple but edgy with a twist. Style number four. Dampen your hair using a water bottle. Now you want to flip your hair upside down to make a high ponytail. Make it as high as possible and make sure that it's off center. Make your ponytail. Flip the ends back and secure it with a bobby pin. Let whatever wants to fall out, let it fall out. And then you're gonna take it, smooth it, and wrap it around the bun. Then secure that with a bobby pin. If some is still falling out, just tuck it underneath the bun, pat it down, do whatever you have to do. Now I'm just combing out some baby hairs. It's really cute and adds a little softness to the style. And here it is guys, very feminine, sophisticated, and versatile. Thanks so much for your love and support. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any suggestions or any questions, please feel free to ask me. Until next time.